So this is actually in this community, it's not called henna, it's called Mandy. Um, and, and my mom does it like three times a year. No, I think it's two times. It's like uh, Navro's Ekis March. So that's um, the 21st of March. Um, and then Kushali and then Imamute. Or Kushali, they're both Kushali. All three of them are Kushali actually. But Kushali is like just celebration. But uh, Saligra. Saligra Mubarak and Imam Ad-Din Mubarak and uh, Navruz Mubarak, right? So that's like the three occasions that like they actually do this. And they, you know, they get the cones. I think I threw away the cone. I don't have the cone anymore. But yeah, this is what I did for this year. So I couldn't think of any like cool ideas like I did the other years. So I just got a picture from the internet of a dragon and just copied it, basically. But yeah... It looks like really compressed down here. That's because of the way that it's like, but it's actually kind of long down there. But, and I have some other pictures as well, which like, uh, so like there's this right here. This is like a smash ball that I did, um, like 2017 or something like that. And the thing is like, if, if you do it on, on your palm, it shows up way darker. Um, it's the darkest on your palm, but the thing is it fades away a lot quicker actually for some reason. And the thing is like, it, it's a stain. It fades away. It's it's literally a plant. So it's a plant that they like grind up or whatever and it stains your skin. And, you know, just like the same way, like, you know, like if you get like raspberry or pomegranate or, you know, like blackberry stains on your clothes, it's the same exact thing. So it stays there and it doesn't go away until like your skin cells literally replace itself. Um, and it's not like a tattoo where it's bacteria continuously eating itself and killing itself exploding and just remaining in there so that even if your entire body replaces itself the ink still stays because it it's taking it's recoloring that bacteria that the microorganisms um so it operates in a totally different way as like tattoo tattoos but yeah that's basically what this is and people usually have it on the back of their hands um because when they put it on the front it tends to fade away pretty quickly this is already starting to fade but yeah, uh, I have, um, there's also this dragon that I did, which you can see it's like not as, not as dark. Um, and, and this dragon I did way earlier. I'm surprised at my precision on these things when I did it so long ago, but, um, there's also this like flower thing. Um, I stopped doing Mandy on like my arm around this area cause there's hair. There, and when I peel it, when I peel the mandy off, it's a, or a henna, right? R rest of the world calls it that. When I peel it off, it's, um, what's it called? It hurts to like pull, because it pulls out some of my hair with it too. So I did a bunch of stuff. I did a treble clef, logo, deathly hallows, paper airplanes, some random other stuff. But um, this is what I did for my mom one year. Like, it's like plants and flowers and stuff. And you can see like, these don't connect, but they wrap around. And when they wrap around, they connect. I never, I should not, I should not have done this with the F1.4 because nothing's in focus. But you see a flower right here, the rose, and then some thorns and things like that. And so it looks like I'm like twisting her arm hella. I'm actually not twisting her arm. She's like just moving her thing like that. But yeah, on this side, it like, this side, it doesn't connect anymore. So, and there are bangles like that. Like, it, it's meant to resemble, like, those kinds of bangles. But, um, there's also this one, which is the one from last time. Um, which is the moon with the dots for shading, the stars. And then the astronaut hanging, like, from a swing set, like, hanging from the moon. And when it dried up, like, this is what it looked like afterwards. Um... And then there is this one, which is like the first one that I ever did that I was like really proud of that. I was like, man, I got to keep doing this. This is like 2016 or 2015, 16, something like that. It's my old setup. It's my 2015 setup, actually. So it was probably around that time. Actually, this was, yeah, this was 2015 or maybe 14. It was not 16, but this was also pretty early. This was like 16, 17, something. This is my brother's hand. A lot thicker than mine, obviously. I have a pretty skinny hand um but this is like the h for like hazia or whatever 
And then there's this one, which is the one that I'm the most proud of that I ever did. Um, it's the Pixar lamp. And I like went in with like a real deathly precision with it. Um, and I like, I made like little pen marks around like the edges, like right here, just like dots or lines, just to make sure I got the things properly. But um, like this might not seem like a lot, right? This might not seem like it's super impressive. I went in with like a mechanical pencil, like tapped the thing and then went in and scraped out the, uh, like the henna from like these little holes and these slots right here. And the thing is like the accuracy, like this might seem, this is really impressive to people. When they see this, they're like, oh, that's so impressive. I can't believe you managed to do that. But somebody who's like really with it, that's like the normie take. Somebody who's really with it, somebody who does this would be like, the fact that you did this is insane. This is by far the most impressive one that I did because especially like the proportions right here, managing to keep this symmetrical, that's like a luck of the draw. That's a real toss up. I didn't even think I would get that properly. In fact, it's not proper. This part is a, looks like it's a bit thinner right here than this part, except this part protrudes out more than this part. So it's it's not exactly accurate, but um, and there's always improvements to be made right there, but I'm surprised I managed to get it this on point and obviously I, I feel like I need to drag this down a bit more or maybe erase some of this up top basically make the circle a bit lower like that um because th these angles are not correct maybe they are correct though maybe the perspective is a bit different but that doesn't make any sense with the cone actually no it might no yeah no no that's not that doesn't make any sense geometrically putting a 3d image in 2d space like that no that doesn't make sense but yeah, there's always ways to improve, but I'm like, this is my most, the one that I, I'm the most proud of ever, that I ever did. To me, it's the most impressive one that I ever did, but it doesn't look that impressive to people who don't do henna. But yeah, now I like, I realize like these, you know, aunties at Kane and stuff like that who do henna, like who do Mandy, like do it legit. They are crazy. Like they're insane. The stuff that they're able to do, that's next level, man. Like I'm actually not that great. <laughs> So, um, and I'm sure one day I'm, I'm going to go, this is what I did to, for my mom actually this time, but one day I'm going to go, I'm going to show off some like cool thing that I do and the kids are going to see it and they're going to be like, yo, do it for me, do it for me, do it for me. And they're going to get me to do it for all of them. that will be really fun. I'm going to do that one time. I might do it like on a moment day or something like that. But this is what I was doing. It was just a finger stuff. Cause it's like, it's, um, she wanted like some subtle stuff. She didn't even want anything over here, but I was like, oh, let's do it anyways. But basically just some cool designs like wrapping around. It's on the back of the hand. I'll show you or she'll show you. She was recording. And then that's me right there. See, for the past few years, it's actually just been me doing the Mandy for her, not like the regular aunties that do it. And she goes and shows her friends and they're like, oh my God, that's so crazy. How did you even do that? Who did that for you? And all this stuff. I don't know why she recorded me like that. That's done. What's that? A cube. <laughs> and then this is like, mom. Okay. So you see like it's, there's like lines and it goes up and it wraps around the thumb. And then there's this and it wraps around the, pointer finger it starts right there wraps around the middle finger starts right there and then for the pinky one it's actually just like a tiny little line so it's like it's it's meant to be a bit artistic it was a bit artsy fartsy or whatever uh i tried to have like a sense of balance and all this stuff like they teach you in art school but it's whatever i would have rather you know draw like a pokemon or something And it looks way cooler. See that? Like, it looks way cooler once it's completely dried. I tried to get a picture of it completely dried from my, from my mom's hand. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty damn good at henna. I mean, compared to, like, most people, there's some of these aunties that do it for, like, everybody. Like, rapid fire. They just go and go and go and come up with completely original designs every single time. And they're insane. They're next level. But that's like a different level, man. That's a different level. And I never claim to be on that level. But compared to like the average person, I'm pretty damn good.